Well, it was an unusually hot late September weekend for us here in central Montana, and especially out in eastern Montana, where it hit 100 degrees in Miles City, which was actually the latest 100 degrees that we've seen here in Montana on record. It was 99 in Glasgow, 89 in Lewistown, and we actually hit 83 in Great Falls. And our average high is about 65 for this time of year. Now, we did see that cold front that moved through last night that brought some strong winds across the plains and dropped our temperatures by about 30 degrees in Great Falls over the last 24 hours. We're about 20 degrees cooler in Lewistown. Now, just a reminder, if you didn't feel like it was this uh, weekend, it is still fall and we are getting closer and closer to Halloween. We're about 31 days out and we have 34 days until daylight saving time will come to an end and that's going to mean our sunsets will be uh, in the five o'clock hour and then we'll be about 60 days from Thanksgiving. Now temperatures this morning have actually fallen below freezing in Great Falls. We dropped to 30 degrees. That's the first time that has happened so far this fall. And we're looking at temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s across northwest Montana. So some patchy frost is possible this morning. That's going to be the case again for tonight. But you can see further east on the high line, we're looking at temperatures in the low, the low to mid 40s. And this afternoon is going to be very cool. You saw we got up to 83 yesterday. We're about 20 degrees below that for today with a high of about 62 for Great Falls and also up in Glasgow. We will see lighter wind for today. But again, it's going to feel pretty chilly out there uh, for the morning, but by the afternoon, a little bit more pleasant with highs in the low 60s. I think it will feel really nice in the sun today with temperatures in Helena getting up to about 62. And as we do move through this afternoon, we are going to see the wind diminishing for eastern Montana. We still could see a few gusts up to about 25 miles per hour. And then tomorrow morning, the wind starts to pick up again as a warm front will lift through the state. That's going to warm our temperatures into the mid 70s for tomorrow. And we'll see 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts right through about Wednesday morning. Now this is going to be a dry front, so we are just going to see an increase in cloud cover after a lot of sunshine for today, but you'll see into Tuesday morning some clouds starting to filter in, especially uh, west of I-15. We'll see the Chinook Arc uh, forming there for the Rocky Mountain front. And then as we move into Tuesday night, a cold front will drop in. That could bring an isolated shower to the area. That will also bring increased clouds by Wednesday morning, but lots of sunshine to go around for today with a high of about 62 for Helena and 63 for Townsend and up into central Montana. We will see much lighter wind today with highs in the 50s for Stanford and Lewistown and up on the high line it's going to be a pretty cool day with highs on either side of 60 degrees and the same deal for northeastern Montana it will still be a bit breezy throughout the morning and afternoon now we start October tomorrow and we are actually going to continue to see above average temperatures especially towards the end of this week and into the weekend, we'll be looking at those temperatures into the 70s. And just again, it's, uh, we should be right around 65 for this time of year. Now we're also tracking drier than normal conditions right through the middle of October. And you can see that here on our extended forecast, not really looking at any rain chances through the next week or so, but much warmer temperatures into the upcoming weekend. Take a look at